Hi, I'm Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team at eXp Realty. We serve the space and treasure coast of beautiful sunny Florida. And today I wanna to talk to you about things to do in Sebastian, Florida in a day. So uh, we're gonna cover a myriad of different activities that you can do if you're spending the day in Sebastian, Florida. How do you occupy your time? I've got some fun stuff for you coming right up. So we're gonna talk about things to do in Sebastian, Florida in a day. And I've got these broken up into three categories. So relaxed activities, active activities, and places to eat. And of course, these are all my favorite things to do. I've been a resident of Sebastian, Florida previously. Um, I really love the area, I love this community. It's a beautiful place and it's got some really neat things to do and participate in, and I'm gonna share those with you now. So, my first set of activities are gonna be what I call like more of a relaxed or leisurely activities. I've got five of them for you. So the first one is going to be spending time at Riverside Park or the Little River Walk area alongside the um, Indian River right there in Sebastian. It's so beautiful and scenic and very accessible. They've got like a great um, little like boat ramp area, a lot of parking, and then they've got a boardwalk there. Lots of seating, an ample amount of seating for you to sit, maybe have a coffee from the Dunkin' Donuts around the corner and really soak in and enjoy the beautiful views of the river. So one of the reasons why I love that spot and it feels so very scenic to me is because right there, you get a really wide river view. So not every part of the Indian River um, is like as wide. Some parts are a little bit more narrow. All of it is beautiful, in my opinion. But right there on that like river walk, riverside area, is so pretty because it's such a wide view. So you're getting like a lot of water um, and it's just very serene and there's boats that go past, but it's really not so active. It's more leisurely and quaint and quiet and it's very, very beautiful. I highly recommend that. It's very, very lovely on a, like a morning, Saturday morning or something like that. Um, Riverside Park also has some nice pavilions for you to go hang out and get a little bit of shade. It's got a great playground, like a medium sized playground for children if you have little ones that you wanna take and get them out and entertain them. And it's also got a really nice uh, water feature area, like a little like uh, splash pad I would call it which is also really nice if you have little kids. So we frequent that spot, it's wonderful, and it's open most of the year. You just have to check on uh, the website if that's something that you plan to go do. It's really nice in some of those hotter months. Uh, that's a great activity for you to go take the littles because you can be outside enjoying it. It's covered and shaded and it's nice and cool. So that's fun. Uh, Riverside Park also hosts all throughout the year different kind of shows, craft shows, art shows, um, all kinds of stuff in like that little shaded area uh, under the trees there. So all kinds of little fairs and stuff. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So they've always got something going on on the weekends there. So the second activity that I'm gonna re recommend that you do that's more of like a relaxed style activity is visiting the Pelican Island Wildlife Refuge. It's a, like a walkable trail. It's really beautiful, it's very serene, and you're gonna get like old Florida vibes, right? Like the Florida wilderness. So it's very tropical and beautiful, and a lot of times you can see some neat you know, native Florida birds and different wildlife and all of that stuff. So that's really nice. And a fun fact about the Pelican Island uh, Wildlife Preserve is that it was one of the, I think it was actually the very first wildlife refuge in the whole country. And I believe it's Teddy Roosevelt who actually uh, put that in place and enacted that. So 
It's a little, little piece of history, but it's really beautiful and Sebastian takes a lot of pride in that preserve area. And you can go there, costs absolutely nothing, and just enjoy a little bit of, you know, the Florida forest kind of scene. So that's a, definitely a nice serene thing that you can do, but make sure you bring your bug spray <laughs> because we're in Florida. Uh, the third thing is you can visit, and I mentioned this in a previous video, you can visit Rock City Gardens. So Rock City Gardens is a privately owned company. They're um, like a nursery, so they raise plants, they sell plants, they sell gardening things and beautiful pots and all kinds of stuff, right? But you can actually go and walk through. They have a, a huge property and they have gardens there where you can walk through and see all these different kind of beautiful trees and different, um, you know, species of flowers and native Florida plants that they've raised there. It's really, really beautiful. It's a really nice leisurely thing to do. And then on your way out, if you want, you can pick up some plants uh, for your home. And it's just really nice. The people who run it there um, and work there, also extremely nice and extremely helpful. The fourth activity that I'm gonna recommend, a um, leisurely activity, is visiting the Treasure Museum. Now there's a Mel uh, Fisher Treasure Museum right there in Sebastian, and it's really, really cool to go in and see all of these little like doubloons and different historical pieces that people have actually found right here on the Treasure Coast of Florida and recovered and discovered, and now they're there in this Treasure Museum, so if that's you know, something that interests you, you definitely want to check that out. That's a really fun activity. Okay, so my last leisurely activity is visiting LaPorte Farms. So LaPorte Farms is an area here in Sebastian. It's owned by a family and there is no admission fee. It's all donations based, but they run a really beautiful quaint farm where you can visit with goats and horses and chickens and all kinds of different farm animals. It's a really nice experience if you have children because it gets them uh, probably a different uh, experience or exposure that they wouldn't normally have. They get to get right up close with the animals. Sometimes they get to even feed the animals. And LaPorte Farms usually has some kind of little activities for them to do too. It's a really well-kept farm. I believe there's a pond there. You can kind of go and walk around the grounds. And again, it's donations based. So if you're looking for an activity on a budget, this would be a great option for you too. So. Those are my five more relaxed, leisurely activities that you can do in Sebastian in a day. And now we're gonna switch gears and we're gonna talk about some adventure. All right, so for my more active people, my thrill seekers, I've got five more recommended activities for you to do in Sebastian in a day. So the first one is a little bit more on the tame side, but where our Indian River Lagoon meets the ocean, we have a Sebastian Inlet. So it's right there, kind of on the top part of Sebastian near the Roseland area. There's a really nice little um, swimming area and a beach that, like a man-made beach that they've made on the river side that you can go and spend some time in the sun, spend some time in the water right there on that inlet. And then obviously on the other side, you've got a little bit of area where you can go and look um, out into the ocean and see the boats coming in and out. It's a great area for fishing. So that's the Sebastian Inlet. The second one is a shooting range. There's a really cool public shooting range if that's kind of your thing. Um, it's really well kept, it's nice. My brother, who is kind of an avid you know, gun collector and shooter, they go and visit that. I don't know, maybe a couple couple times a month. So they're there a lot and they really love that shooting range up in Sebastian. So go check that out if that's something that interests you. The third one is Sebastian Skydive. So I personally have been skydiving there at the Sebastian Airport. I have done the Sebastian Skydive. It was very thrilling, but I think that will be a one and done situation for me. But it's a lot of fun. The people who run it are great. 
Obviously you have the option to like buy the film of your dive, buy the pictures, whatever, all of that stuff. They obviously do an uh, educational moment before you go up in the plane. But man, that is really a thrill. It's a lot of fun. I love the fact that it's at a small kind of quaint airport. And when you get up there, you would not even imagine how beautiful it is just to see like the mainland of Florida. It's like so lush and green and tropical. And then the sliver of river and the like enormous ocean. And it's not the same as being in an airplane and looking out the little window. Like it is, it's everywhere around you. It's really a cool experience, uh, once in a lifetime for me experience, but that is a lot of fun if you're thrill seeking and you want to do something very active in Sebastian while you're here. Okay, so my fourth recommendation is going to be visiting the North County Rec Center. It's right up there in Sebastian. It's a great place if you have kids. It's a great place to go as a family. They've got a pool, they've got slides, they've got all kinds of um, stuff that you can get into up there at that rec center. You can check out all of the like times and dates that it's open and all of that stuff on their website. Just Google North County Rec Center Sebastian, Florida. But that's a lot of fun and it's really well kept, so I highly recommend if you're looking for an active activity to do. And then my fifth recommendation is going to be the Barber Street Skate Park. So if you like to skate or if you've got maybe some older kids that really enjoy skating, rollerblading, all of that stuff, we do have a skate park up there in Sebastian. And again, well-maintained, well-run, a lot of fun, very family friendly, and I would highly recommend that you check that out. Okay, so those are my five active activities to do in Sebastian in a day. Now, let's go ahead and talk about food because while you're here, you're probably gonna wanna eat something. So, you're in Sebastian for the day, what are you gonna eat? Here are my top five recommendations that I personally enjoy, okay? So the first one, it's really about the scene and it's about the vibe, and that's gonna be Captain Hiram. So Captain Hiram's is a resort. You can go and stay there. Um, if you're visiting from out of town or if you have family friends that are visiting from out of town, you can book a room there. But they've got a really cool, like, beach area all set up on the Indian River. It overlooks the river. It's really beautiful. It's a lot of fun. They do a lot of like nightlife stuff. So that would be a really fun place for you to check out. They've got some good eats too, like finger foods and different stuff. So Captain Hiram's. The second one is going to be um, a little off the beaten path. So it's in this area that we call Wabasso really where Vero Beach and Sebastian touch. And this one is on the beach. So when you hop over the Wabasso Bridge and you land on that little public beach access, there's a sub shop in there. I think it's like pizza and subs, but visit the sub shop. It used to be Penny Hill subs. I'm not sure if it's, I don't think it's still Penny Hill anymore, but mwah, the best subs, the best subs. So go check them out. It's worth the drive. It's worth all of the effort to get a sub from there. They're so good. And then while you're there, you can hop right over to the beach, walk across the parking lot, visit that public beach access it's called the Wabasso Beach Access. That's what I call it. Have your little sub on the beach. And it's just like a really um, nice experience. Just south of you there is the uh, Vero Beach Disney Resort as well. So you can kind of walk along the uh, beach there, check out what's going on with the Disney Resort. It's just a nice ambiance as well. A lot of times I'll catch people surfing because the surf is particularly active right there um, off of that beach access. So anyways, something fun to do and the subs are great. So you don't want to miss that. The third one is going to be a little place right there off of the river. It's very close to Riverside Park, which I mentioned earlier, and it's called Captain Butcher's, okay? They have an outdoor um, deck with seating and all that stuff. You can go and order and sit on the deck and look out over the river, and it's really beautiful. And the seafood and the meals that I've had there in the past have been really good. 
Uh, the ambiance was great and I really enjoyed it. So I know there's a number of restaurants that sit on that river. Captain Butcher's is my personal choice. So go check them out if you are so inclined. Okay, so the fourth restaurant that I recommend to visit in Sebastian is in a, the plaza off of US-1. It's right there, kind of near um, Home Depot, and it is wasabi. So wasabi is like a little Japanese place. They have sushi, they have, you know, all the fixings, and the sushi there is so good. There's a sushi place in Fort Pierce that I absolutely love, and this one is second to that. I love wasabi. I actually had, I don't, I don't know if they do it seasonally, but at one point in time, I had a sushi roll that had grapefruit in it. So it was so delicious. Definitely check out wasabi. Um, it is one of my favorite places to eat in Sebastian. If you like sushi, go there. You won't be sad that you did. Okay, and then my last restaurant recommendation where I have eaten countless times when I lived in Sebastian is I Jalisco. So they've got a really cute um, restaurant. Like here in our area, there's a chain of I Jalisco's. So there's a couple in Vero and there's one in Sebastian. I love the Sebastian one because I love the ambiance. It's right there off of US one. It's easy to get to. The service is great and it's delicious. Like chicken fajitas, yum. So uh, check that out because that's one of my favorite places to go and eat lunch or dinner in Sebastian. Obviously, you're not gonna get to all 15 of these things in a day, but take one or two from each category and make a day out of it. You're really gonna love the experience of Sebastian, Florida if you do it that way. All right. So really that wraps up my what to do in Sebastian in a day. Those are all my recommendations. If I left something out that you really love or you think I should check out, put it in the comments below because I would love to do that. Um, I hope that you take this and you go check it out, whether you're a current resident of Sebastian or whether you're thinking about visiting here, please take this list go do some of these things. Let me know how you liked it. I love your feedback, I love your input, and thanks for tuning in. Uh, again, this is Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team at eXp Realty. Um, we're here for you as a local real estate resource and local experts. We've been serving this area for over 10 years now, and if you need anything, please feel free to reach out to us, leave me a comment below, and I'll catch you next time. This is Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team here in the Space and Treasure Coast of Florida. If you like this content and you want more, click the videos to my left.